Okay, now on most burners, whenever you set the burner up, you need to measure the combustion to make sure the fuel air ratio that we're setting within the system is going to be the most efficient and also safe operation. Now, if we have a, an exhaust gas analyzer, the old flame exhaust gas analyzer connected to the system, we get this additional box. By pressing on this box, will show us the oxygen, CO2, CO, NO, NO2, if we have a NO2, and also the SO2, maybe we're burning heavy oil. So the EGA will use this information and send it back to the Mark 8 controller to make small changes to either the air damper or the speed of the variable speed drive, bringing the combustion back to exactly what it was when we originally commissioned the system. Now, some applications mean we can't actually take a sample of the exhaust gas. A good example of that would be a dryer application where we're adding a lot of air for the dryer straight into the combustion zone. Obviously, if we measured the combustion at that point, we'd have a very high oxygen level, meaning it would be impossible to set the fuel air ratio curve. In that type of application, we add meters to the gas and also the air. Now these meters can either be mass flow or just a volume meter. If it's a volume meter, we'd then need to measure the temperature of the combustion air and the natural gas and also the pressure, giving us a mass flow. Now by using those two mass flow meters, that is gonna give us exactly the right fuel to air ratio at each point on the firing curve. The nice thing with this system is that if we ever lose the meters, we have a backup with our positioning of our servos, our channel one and channel two. So we'd commission the fuel air ratio based on the volume or mass flow of air and fuel. But if they failed, we'd revert back to the normal parallel positioning control, meaning we have a full backup.